Hi guys, myself Mohit, welcome to the session. So today we are focusing on tips and tricks for PowerShell. So the prerequisites for this session should be, you should know what PowerShell is. I am not uh, planning for a session for basics of PowerShell, there is tips and tricks. So you should know what PowerShell is and what is it capable of. So this is a test server, Windows 2016 server and a lab machine. Let's open PowerShell in this. Yes, we got the PowerShell window. We can start with a command called get help. So as the name indicates, this is a very handy command which will provide you the syntax of whatever command PowerShell command you want. For example, get help space the command you want. You can get the syntax of the same. How all you can use the command, what will can be the expected outputs, what all alias it have. So let's see, get process. So it should give the all running process in this computer. So as we saw here, we have a G alias called GPS. So you don't need to type get hyphen process. Just GPS also will provide the same information. Similar to get help, there is another command called get command, which gives the information about command. So let's try out that get command space get process so as you can see here i can i'll get the information regarding the get process command so this will be handy when you when you use powershell in dotnet maybe or uh, while you troubleshooting powershell issues so all these things will be handy there the source the version etc Uh, let's move on to our main topic tips and tricks let me start with the command called get service so as the name implies it will give me all the services and the related information inside this machine just like uh, now i type get service there are multiple ways to run a single command i can use get wmi object so if you are a .NET programmer or if you are comfortable with wmi yes you can use wmi objects inside powershell so the basic syntax is get wmi object minus class followed by win32 service so this should also give me all the services installed in this machine whether it's manual automatic running or stopped so I have two different ways I can also filter this with a particular information like I want to uh, get the status of the service with a name as polar so basically it's print polar service so I'll type hyphen name space spooler so this will give me information about spooler Now I only if I only need the status of the same, I'll add a pipe here, select space status. Now I have the status. So you might be thinking I, I also have a column name here. So how can I eliminate that column name? It is also possible. I'll just add this inside brackets dot the name of the column. Here it is status, right? Status. Now I have all only the element which is necessary for me. There is one more way to uh, get the or maybe filter it from the services so that that is using where. Just like uh, any other object oriented programming language, we can use where inside PowerShell. So the syntax for that is get service followed by a pipe where inside curly braces dollar underscore dot so this dollar underscore dot will fetch out all the columns inside the parent command which is on the left side of this pipe 
so in this case whatever columns are there in get service can be called using dollar underscore dot so in this name i want name minus eq so we don't have equal to sign or less than greater than sign in powershell for equal to sign we use minus eq for greater than it will be minus gt for less than it will be minus lt and for not equal to it will be minus any in quotes spooler so this will also give me the status of that particular service so we have two different ways one is this and one is this the second way we also can write it like this if you are lazy enough to write where you can just put a question mark there which will give us the same result if you want to filter more like start mode etc unfortunately get service will not fetch start mode for you you there you have an option for get wmi object you can use the same thing here get wmi object minus class is win32 underscore service now let's take the services whose start mode is automatic and it, which is not running strange let's see so question mark dollar so start mode is equal to automatic minus and dot state not equal to running see now you have all the services whose start mode is automatic but they are not running so now we know how to use where how to use and how to use equal to or not equal to inside a powershell script so obviously the next question will be how will we use for loop so let's see let's use for loop inside this now i want to take the services name of the service now i want to go through each of this output and fetch the name of the service so i'll type it as write host in quotes service name is dollar dot name let's see how it works so it will go through each of these entries and will fetch the name and this is how we use for loop percentage inside brackets so now we know how to use where loop how to use for loop how to use and or logical statements equal to not equal to and greater than into a powershell command now let's see if we want to sort the object so let's go with our get process we have lot of uh, processes running in my machine let's get the top 10 memory consuming process so when i say memory consuming i'll take ws so i'll go with get process sort ws the column name minus descending probably the first question you will ask is how will you, how will we do an ascending sort is there minus ascending no there is no minus ascending there is only minus descending cause if minus descending is not there it will automatically sort ascending ascending order so minus descending select there is a statement called minus first which will pick the first 
10 entries which is sorted in descending order according to memory from the old running process so as you can see here we are getting the top 10 consuming memories obviously this will give the last 10 memories another handy command I like in PowerShell is the mathematical operations how to sum how to get the count so let's say you are getting the first 10 memories and now I want to know the total memory used total memory that is used in my uh, used by my machine using get process command so I just need to add the WS thing right so there is a command called measure object followed by the column name minus sum so this will give the sum of the whole memory if I need to take the sum as I have showed in the beginning dot sum so this will give me sum alone and if I need to get the count dot count so this will give the total running processes and the memory consumed by the running processes Now if you are a Linux admin or if you have uh, expertise in Linux there are few questions that are, that has been asked by the Linux admins to the Windows guys. Hey we have LS uh, or maybe DIR in uh, Windows those commands. So do you have something like that? Yes we have something called get child item which will give you all the elements inside that folder. So basically I'm inside administrator so I have for this much items inside that. And this is similar to what LS is in Linux. Similarly we have uh, a cat also. Let's see. The command for that is get content followed by the file path. So I have some file here. Let me copy. So this will give the contents of that particular file. This is a PowerShell testing. Let's see what is in. Yes. And if you ask me, will cat work? I'll tell yes. Cat will work here also. So you will get the contents inside that file. let's get the details of the disk inside this machine so the class for that is if you are WMA expert this will be by heart for you or else you can get it by little bit of googling so this is the details of the windows disk we have and so if you are getting a response or getting a requirement to create a one requirement to get the free space in GB, the size in GB and the percentage of free space. The first thing you might think is I'll get the details and I'll write a script to filter it. No need. One single command is capable of doing this. So using PowerShell you can create new columns with expressions. So WMI logical disk the syntax to create new column is at the rate of within curly braces n equal to column name so i'll give the column name as free space in gb 
and the expression for that so the expression obviously should be a round number so this is the syntax to convert into a round digit and inside that dollar underscore dot free space by 1 GB and we can select the same so this will give me free space in GB so this was when converted to GB is 11 GB similarly I'll create one more column that will be for size to get the total size and we need to create the percentage size in GP let's get the percentage n equal to percentage of free space expression is math colon colon round of so this is for making it a round number and inside that free space by size into 100 so we can see we have free space in GB size in GB and percentage so all three columns you are seeing here is not a part of the PowerShell command we are creating the columns by fetching out the data from the commandlet In a similar manner, we can convert this to HTML. So we, we were doing some service stuff. We are getting the service running and auto service, right? Now, if someone is asking you to convert this to an HTML file, it is very easy. I'll do. What I'll do is I'll. There is a command called convert to HTML. So this will give us the same output in HTML and maybe we can even uh, define what all fields we want. So we don't need all fields. So let us just take select name start mode and state and let's convert this to HTML. We can even remove the heading parts by adding a command called minus fragment. So we have the same in HTML format. You have a basic style with you. You can just copy, paste it in a notepad with some sort of CSS statement. Very basic one. Save it as you can see you get you will get a powerful HTML table in just one command so these are some of the tips and tricks for PowerShell uh, hope this session was a bit informative please subscribe my youtube channel for more videos like this thank you